Welcome to PDAC. I hope uh, we have a better year than last year. Expectations are exhaustion, but also hopefully productivity. We just arrived in Toronto, made it in from Vancouver, a little over four hour trip, slightly delayed, no biggies. And now we're just on our way to our Airbnb. Got a dinner planned tonight with some phenomenal geologists we highly respect. It is 7.42, we're on our way to the first official meeting at PDAC, because this man, that guy right there, set up a meeting for eight o'clock this morning. So, conference starts at 10, but hey, why not? When in Rome, right? All right. Okay. Alrighty, thank you, good sir. Thank, thank you very much. much. Can I get out here on this side? Yeah, yeah you're fine. You're fine? Okay. So we just arrived at the Metro Convention Center. We're heading down the escalator to go pick up our badges. It's at 9.40 now, and uh, it's getting busy. Look at that, the line behind us. A lot of people heading down here. It's gonna be a zoo the next three days. is going to be a great year for us. We are building our tonnage on our lithium deposit and another one in the making. We have a lot of retail clients that are going to make it to the show here so we are very excited about that. Lithium in 2019 is going to be a little bit difficult for juniors. That's why we think we can be a different uh, story for most of our clients. 2019 lithium in the making. Join us. I think so far the mood at, at PDAC is optimistic and uh, we're certainly encouraged by the outlook going forward and for Pacific Empire Minerals we're excited that 2019 looks like a year that we're going to have company uh, RC drilling and uh, again we'll have a partner funded drilling on our other project. Welcome to the two-door booth for PDAC 2019. Expectations for this year? Don't know. Uh, hopefully we raise some money for our drill program up and coming. We've got some spectacular drill holes to uh, uh, start off the year. We're looking forward to about 10,000 meter drill program with two phase. Hopefully we get the same kind of continuation with the drilling we've got at the end of the year as a cliffhanger. We had almost 600 meters of 1.5 
Sun Graham. So hopefully we continue with that near surface and uh, let's say good luck to the rest of the people here at PDAC and raising some money. Right, we're here at uh, PDAC 2019. We expect this to you know, be picked up from, from last year. We're starting to see a lot more interest from uh, a, lot of, a lot of the larger companies looking for JVs. Now hopefully the uh, retail follows them along with a little bit more interest in the exploration sector. We're here in Toronto live at PDAC. We're recording live Sunday morning. It's 11 o'clock or just barely after 11. I'm joined by Mickey Fulton, the mercenary geologist. Mickey, thanks for joining us again. Thanks, Kai. It's always great to see you. Likewise. And uh, this PDAC, I think, is going to be a special one. Field. So we just stepped out for a couple minutes. We we're going for a lunch meeting, but uh, it already seems like it's not as busy today as it was the last few years. So there's still a lot of people here, a lot of companies presenting. It's slower, it's not as busy. BNN hasn't set up their booth yet at this conference. So we'll see how this turns out the next few days. I'm joined by Brent Cook, Exploration Insights, obviously one of the experts in the industry. Thanks for taking the time. Yeah, you betcha. Well, it's, it doesn't just seem that light, but again, it's just the morning, we'll see what happens. BAC so far this year is good. Uh, Sundays aren't normally the greatest, but this has been good. We're busy here. It's on track for what it did last year again. We're going to do the same amount of drilling, and we'll be ready to go up in the Golden Triangle by about the middle of June, and I think we'll be up in the Yukon before that. Hi, this is Mike Buechler, I'm CEO of Amarillo Gold. We're here at PDAC 2019. We're very excited to be here at PDAC this year. It uh, it's, looks like it's going to be a good show, and we're seeing a lot of very interested investors come by the booth. Uh, Amarillo Gold, we're getting busy with our feasibility study. We started our fees in January. We have uh, SRK doing our main study, with Osinka doing our plant engineering. We're very excited to get moving ahead on that, and we'll be putting in our permit application mid-year and looking to start construction roughly a year from now. I'm Eric Roth from New Dimension Resources. Uh, so PDAC so far has been very good for us. We've had a lot of people come through the booth. We've been very, very busy. We've got good turnout in the uh, the aisles here. And we, for our side, uh, we basically are presenting uh, the projects in Argentina. We have a portfolio of projects in Santa Cruz province and also in Canada. So, so we're finding a lot of interest in the high-grade gold space. It's three o'clock, just walking over to the other side of the convention, going to the Intercontinental for a meeting. Our feet hurt, we're exhausted, the air is horrible, but uh, we'll keep on trucking. All right, day two PDAC, we're just heading there. Just waiting for our Uber. Last night, we went to a couple functions, reception was pretty fun, went to PJ O'Brien's. Great for networking, you bumped into a lot of people. Obviously, there's free beer booze. Ended up in bed around 11, so it's not too bad. Off to PDAC, as I said, uh, presenting this morning, the Capital Markets Program, giving a 10-minute presentation on the state of mineral finance. We're hoping to record it and get available to you online as well. So there was a big fire here on Queen and Bathurst, and we're cutting it now really close to making it to our presentation at 9 o'clock. Our driver is confident, I'm sure we'll make it. Good morning everybody, and uh, appreciate attending this morning. Thanks. Uh, this is a PDAC very special edition because we're doing a threesome which we've never done before in that format. And I'm joined by David Airfleet, the junior miner junkie at Trevor Hall Mining Stock Daily. Bar. This time for Orin Inc. We're at PDAC 2019 in Toronto and we're at the bar on the floor of PDAC. As always, I'm joined by Brent Cook with Exploration Insights and Vicky Fulp, the mercenary geologist, and our special guest today, Kai Hoffman with Orin Inc. Welcome. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah, salute, eh? <laughs> salute. Cheers. Day three of PDAC this morning. It's, it's freezing cold outside again. Uh, we're just here at the 7-Eleven, picked up some Powerade. It was a very late last night. That's the good thing about PDAC. You meet all your friends from all over the world, and uh, you get to hang out, you get to network, you get to socialize, and have a good time. So we're heading now down to the conference. It's uh, Precious Metals Day. We got like 10 meetings scheduled today. Uh, it's going to be busy, and uh, stay tuned. Good morning.
It is visibly more quiet this morning. Yesterday, a lot of functions happened. So obviously, conference will only kick off at 10 a.m. today. Philip Cloutier, President and CEO of Cards and Resources here at PDAC 2019. The mood here is relatively good. I mean, I've seen better years, but right now the mood has shifted towards the M&A space. And uh, that's all right, because that's where Cards and Resources is uh, sli slowly moving towards. For the remainder of the year, we're going to keep drilling our flagship property, Chimo Mine. Then we're going to initiate a resource estimate. And then finally, we're going to seek to monetize the asset. Day of the mining conference here in Toronto. It's minus 12 degrees outside. Happy to go inside now for the last few hours, doing a couple interviews. Going to wrap up some some more interviews with uh, companies as well. See what the mood was, how the feedback is here from this convention, and I also want to see the numbers of attendees. PDX expeditioning a press release this morning. We're going to take a look at it, and uh, we'll let you know. I'd say it was flat to honestly negative this year. There's a lot of money around, there's a lot of concern about the flow through being raised for some of the flow through funds. So for Canadian explorers, it could be a tougher go, but you know, the industry, there's always that underlying exuberance and, and optimism for, you know, what hopefully could be a good year. I'd say if there is any buzz this year, it would be about copper and it would be about new issues. PDAC this year was terrific actually we had a number of major companies come by and for the first time in years a number of brokers are walking the floor which I found very encouraging. By mid-year we'll have a feasibility stage project in copper gold in a safe jurisdiction so a rarity in the business I would say. Hi I'm Stephen Quinn from Midas Gold uh, and we are at PDAC 2019. It's been, uh, you know, a good conference, I would say. It's, you know, definitely not boom times, uh, but definitely better than some of the ones we've been at. So I, you know, characterize it as a medium uh, busy, but, you know, more positive outlook, uh, a bit more encouraging uh, than we've seen in the past. You know, Midas Gold is a company with a development project in uh, Idaho, and uh, we're pushing through permitting for development of a very large scale, low cost uh, mine. And uh, we're also doing a feasibility study that should be out uh, later this year. Matthew Keevil, I'm the Vice President of Corporate Affairs with ATAC Resources and we're coming to you from the floor of PDAC 2019. Uh, just wrapping up today, it's been a pretty good show, traffic's been pretty solid. I wish metal prices cooperated a little bit more heading into the conference, uh, but outside of that, it has been uh, a good crowd. We're hoping that uh, moving into 2019 we get some more momentum in the gold price and hopefully also copper. Speaking of which, coming to you from the ATAC booth, this summer we'll be drilling a $3 million program out at our Bobcat target, which is a high grade copper gold Scarn prospect that we found last year. Uh, we're hoping to find something that's a little bit similar to what Newmont's mine. So that's sort of what the target looks like. We'll be spending, as I said, about three million. Uh, that'll include some geophysics, some drilling, as well as uh, additional prospecting because we have a lot of really promising targets out on the western part of the property where we're going to have a 65 kilometer road coming in uh, conditionally approved. We're hoping to get the final permits on that within the next 18 months. So it could be road accessible pretty quick, which is exciting for the company.